She opened one of my drawers and it was just like hundreds of Trojan bearskin condoms unopened. And she was like, are you a pickup artist? And I was like, what? And don't forget to use your condoms. Hey guys, we have a very fun topic today. Condoms. We will be discussing condoms today. Lots of stuff to talk about, or not very much if you don't use them. <laughs> However, if you are interested in whether or not you should be using condoms, please make sure to check out my video on vasectomies up in the corner. That can prevent pregnancies, unwanted pregnancies, as for STD risks, if you are considering using condoms to prevent STDs, I talk about in my video up here, um, everything you want to know about STDs, the truth about STDs, the shocking truth. And the takeaway from that video is they are largely blown out of proportion. I'm not saying they aren't a thing. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm not saying when someone gets like a terrible one, that it's not a huge deal. But I go over all the statistics and show that it's extremely unlikely to get herpes or AIDS, which are the only two that are uncurable, and all the rest are curable. But I go over all the details of that in that video up there in the corner. So on to condoms. Okay, the first thing I will go over is the type of condom that I prefer. Okay, there's many out there. You guys are probably wondering, what does John Anthony use to wrap around his shaft? Or maybe you aren't wondering that. A lot of you might be wondering which brand you should choose with so many to choose from. Okay, I personally prefer, and a lot of the top guys that I've met have independently confirmed out of all the ones they've tried, Trojan Bearskin. Okay, I'm not gonna bother making an affiliate link. Go on Amazon, go to your local pharmacy or drugstore or supermarket. But the reason is they feel the closest to unprotected sex, okay, while still being protected. Hence the name Bearskin. So these are the condoms that feel the best. So usually you can buy these in bulk. They're a little more expensive sometimes than like the really shitty, thick, Condoms that are gonna really choke off the experience, literally. The bear skins, you can buy them in like packs of 20, 25. You can go on Amazon, buy them. And like when I've been with about 150 chicks, there was a chick that found, like, she opened one of my drawers and it was just like hundreds of Trojan bear skin condoms unopened. And she was like, Are you a pickup artist? And I was like, What? I was like, What are you talking about? How did you know about that shit? And she's like, Oh, my friend read the book, The Game. And I was like, Don't worry, most pickup artists have no use for even 10 condoms, let alone hundreds, okay, because most people suck shit at this, which is why we are here on my channel, learning all this lovely knowledge. Okay, so you can buy them in bulk for whatever quantity you anticipate using. Hopefully as you watch more of my videos, you will need more. This is gonna be great! <laughs> um, the next topic I would like to cover is condom placement. Now this is really key. You're gonna wanna have two minimum in your wallet. Okay, that's like the key location to have them. Because presumably you're gonna have your wallet on you at all times. If you end up in a scenario where you're having sex in a random location, such as a vehicle or a bathroom somewhere or wherever it may be, okay, and then whether or not you wanna do that stuff is another question. You could end up at a girl's house, right? You could meet a girl out and she's like, we have to go back to my place. Like I have to let my dog out, we're going back to my place. You get there, she doesn't have condoms. You didn't put any of your wallet. Okay, you're not having sex. So keep two because that allows you to go multiple rounds, right? If you take a girl home to her house, you use one, the next morning you can use another, okay? But optimally you wanna have at least three in there. And it's funny, like sometimes when I'm like paying for something at the store, the condom will just like fall out like onto the floor, or, like onto the counter or something like this. People are like looking at you like, it's like, yeah, everyone's having sex. Motherfucker. The other places you want to keep these are near your bed. That's gonna be the main location you're having sex. So you should have them like in drawers, either side of your bed or under your bed. Okay, preferably all those locations. It should be like James Bond. Like you can like hit a space in a wall or a cabinet and a thing pops out and you grab the condom. All right. You should have them in your vehicle, like in your glove compartment. Not just if you're going to have sex in your car, but also if you happen to drive someplace like a girl's house and you need to have sex there. And when you use them, make sure you replace them, okay? Meaning, if you use the ones in your wallet, make sure that you are restocking, so to speak, like almost immediately, just so that you don't run dry. You don't wanna be in the situation, I've been there, many other people have as well, where you get into a sexual, you know, things are heating up, and the girl doesn't have condoms, 
and you didn't replace your stash and you are fucked, okay? And there's been these frenzies sometimes where I'm digging through like piles of <laughs> papers and various items. Gary, 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 Patrick, huh? I can't find Gary. Until haha, -ha, the lonely condom is found, okay? And the, the night can progress. Okay, that covers location and being prepared in advance. The next topic I wanna to cover is accessibility. Okay, it sounds like a very formal and professional term. Basically what this refers to is, you don't wanna be like fumbling about, like, okay, as you're like fingering the girl, playing with her clit, and I'll go over, I'm gonna be doing sexual demonstration techniques, not pornography, but I'm gonna be doing, you know, demonstration, showing you guys how to do these various things. So I've become aware over the years, lots of clients don't even have the basic understanding of sexual you know, moves or interaction or the progression of how things lead into sex. So there's gonna be a, a, like a little window of time, right? Like she's all hot and horny and she's like, get a condom. What you don't wanna be doing is like going into Fort Knox in your pocket and like fumbling about and like, where is it and all this shit or like digging through your drawers and all, because what's happening is the girl's laying there like her buying temperature, so to speak, in terms of how horny she is, and just like the whole mood is like kind of plummeting down while you are like on your expedition for the condom. All right, and if she was already like on the fence while hooking up with this guy, if you have it accessible in your pocket, she's like, where's the condom? And you're like, ta-da, okay, boom, now you are ready to rock and roll. Whereas if you are searching the house for <laughs> five or 10 minutes, or you need to run to the store, God forbid, it could fuck the whole thing. Like say the chick's like, okay, like yeah, like you're about to have sex and she's like, let me just use the bathroom real quick. You can take it from wherever your location is, like from the nightstand or from your wallet, or whatever, and you can have it like free form. You can have it like under your leg or like behind the pillow, somewhere where you can just grab it and take it out and then ta-da, you have the condom right when things are about to go down, okay? You can have it like loose, like in your pants, right? Like if I know I'm gonna hook up with a chick shortly after she arrives, I'll have it like just loose in a pants pocket or under the pillow in the bed. Okay, so have it accessible. Don't make a whole bunch of time trying to have to search for it and like make a break in the foreplay because you are being a dumbass and searching for a condom, okay? And it might not even be there in the first place if you didn't follow my first rule and keep a stock and a stash steady, okay? Kind of related to the last point in terms of having it accessible, you also want to be doing a method where you also don't want to be doing this whole thing where you're like disengaging the clitoris is the the formal term all right so you're fingering her right you're you're reaching in basically you don't want to like stop fingering her or like disengage the stimulation with the foreplay you don't want to like be like okay hold on and then you're like going and doing all this shit and like trying to open it with your hands and stuff like that it's it's ideal if while you're fingering the girl you're able to take out your wallet pop open your wallet grab out the condom and then literally, I'll just burn this. This is like my last bear skin. Don't worry, I have a bunch of other brands. But <laughs> as I stand here like a fucking retard with my hand, um, you're like standing over her. She's like, fuck me, baby, all this shit, right? Now you take it out. Ta-da! It is open with the teeth. So I advocate opening the teeth. Notice you're still fingering. You remove it. Hope my mom watches this. You remove it with uh, <laughs> bringing shame to the family. You basically shake it free, <laughs> shake it free, and then you are able to slide it on. All right. Now, if it doesn't, fucking lube on my hands. If it doesn't slide on like properly, like it's not going very far, that means you have it on backwards. In which case, you flip it around and then you slide it across your shaft. Okay. Now, <laughs> where was I? The other key piece here, notice how I didn't tear the entire piece off. This is the next crucial point. These are like little subtleties that are gonna fuck you in the end, okay? Notice how I didn't, and I'm glad I have like my vibrance back in the videos. Like for, I didn't mention on my videos last week, but I was with like a high fever, like 104 degrees, like close to 40 degrees Celsius. I was like creating videos with a fucking fever. Like and I had this fever for like three or four days and I was like really sick. So I was like standing there like fucking brain dead and like mush. So sorry about that on my videos last week. Um, and on my YouTube live, I was like space cadet. I had just woken up, I had a really high fever. So that video is currently privated. <laughs> 
So notice how it has not been torn off. Now, why is that important? If you tear it off, either with your hand, okay, or your teeth, right, like so, now you have two pieces, and you aimlessly throw it about. Say you go multiple rounds, now you have all these like straight pieces, right? So now, after you are done fucking the girl, you should be cleaning up, because if you're dating multiple women, you don't want a chick to find a used condom or a wrapper. Now if you left it intact, where it was just all still one piece, it's easy to find, like say you had three rounds of sex, it doesn't matter if it was like the night to the morning or all three that night or whatever. Now you find three wrappers and three condoms, okay? They can be in the fucking sheets, they can have slid under the bed, under clothes, all this shit. You're gonna get burned if you don't like account for like each one and each piece. Don't just be like, oh look, there's a condom, I'll throw that away and not find the other two. <laughs> all right, cause some girl is gonna fucking pull your sheets back and be like, what the fuck is this? Okay, and you're gonna have to make up a story how it's from the last time you guys slept together. <laughs> So you're gonna pair one-to-one -one the wrapper to the condom. If you have that little straight piece, it's easy to like, okay, I've got the wrapper and I've got the condom, we're good, throw it away, and that little piece is gonna fuck you in the ass, okay? <laughs> I'll make a separate video by the same token, you wanna be looking for the chick's fucking bobby pins and earrings, and this isn't a problem for most of you because you're not even having that much sex, but when you become more active, okay, when you start having multiple partners, you need to dispose of these things, okay? Lastly, okay, I don't wanna make this video too long, but these are the main tips. Lastly, you do not wanna be throwing your condoms in the fucking trash, okay? That sounds really weird, like where do you, where do you put them? Keep them like in a bag, and I usually store them like high up somewhere, okay? Like high up where no one's gonna fucking look, like in a high, like keep them, it's not, it doesn't need to be unsanitary, like throw them in a bag, but keep it like out of reach, and you can throw that straight to the dumpster later. It's a newbie mistake, to be putting them like in your fucking regular trash can or be putting them like in your bathroom trash can and just sitting there on the fucking top of the trash. Like guys are so dumb, they don't even bother to like bury it or whatever. Even advanced guys don't do this shit. And then a chick comes over and she's like, oh, can I throw up my gum? And then she like opens up your trash and she's like, oh, oh, oh. Like she found like someone's hand or something. Okay, but that's gonna fuck you up just like her finding it in the bed. And even if you bury it under the trash, that had situations where the girl's like, here, let me help you remove your trash. And like, she picks up the trash and it shifts and there's like a condom and she's like, oh. Okay, so, <laughs> take your condom uh, remnants, put them in a fucking bag and keep them out of sight or some drawer where the people, like treat it like it's like money you're hiding, like hundreds of dollars of bills. You're not gonna just like leave that sitting out in the top of the trash. <laughs> that is it for condoms. I want to remind you guys I am doing a European tour. We're going to be doing one stop in Vegas, and then we're going to do a whole set of cities in Europe. Las Vegas from March 15th through March 24th, 10 days, okay? But there's also people that are signed up for the first three days of that program due to financial and work commitments, and people that are signed up for a seven day of that program. So it's going to be a 10 day program, but there's going to be also a subset for seven days and a subset for three days. If you're interested in that program, email me at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. We will go over details, we will go over pricing. Spots are very limited, there's already a bunch of people signed up, um, but I'm going to have multiple coaches. Then for Europe, this is where I'm really excited. I'm going to be bringing on new coaches that I'm training, okay, guys that have fucked like 400 chicks, okay, underground fucking true warriors, like beasts of the game. I'm going to be training them formally on coaching for me. We're also going to be recording a bunch of videos for YouTube. We're going to be traveling a bunch of hope across over 20 different cities in Europe. And we're also going to be filming videos in the nightclubs, in fields, all kinds of different things we're doing. I'm bringing my video editor along, the guy that makes all these videos kick ass. And we're going to chronicle this whole tour, so to speak. So the cities in order for Europe. Okay, we're doing Barcelona, Spain, Rome, Italy, Dublin, Ireland, London, England, Edinburgh, Scotland, Amsterdam, Netherlands, Berlin, Germany, Warsaw, Poland, Zagreb, Croatia, Vienna, Austria, Bratislava, Slovakia, Prague, Czech Republic, Budapest, Hungary, Athens, Greece, Sofia, Bulgaria, Bucharest, Romania, Riga, Latvia, possibly Lithuania, Helsinki, Finland, Belgrade, Serbia, Minsk, Belarus, Oslo, Norway. And we might be adding more cities or adjusting based on interest, but the primary focus of this, besides teaching the programs, we're gonna be giving free talks in each of those cities that are gonna be set up. We're also going to be filming tons of content, 
okay, video content for YouTube. They're gonna be, these coaches are gonna be starting their own channels, putting out really high value stuff. They're gonna be filming their own infields and we're just gonna be a team of people putting out the best shit in the industry hands down, okay? The rest of the industry has always been down here. I've been putting out tons of, this sounds fucking arrogant, but I've been putting out shit loads of good content, okay? My products, everything has been top notch compared to the rest of the garbage in the industry, okay? That's backed up by plenty of proof that people are like, you sound so arrogant, have some dignity and humility, but the fact of the matter is, most of the coaches suck. For all you watching this, have you gotten good at this yet? Most of you are gonna fucking shake your head. No, I have not. I've seen for, I've been immersed in this for over 10 years. Most of the guys suck. Most of the guys will continue to suck, okay? Because they bought the 30 RSC products. Okay, you don't need 40 RSC products and 50 like they're trying to tell you. Okay, you need one proper training, one. Okay, this can be changed in a day. I've done it plenty of times. Changed in a day for your life. It's not simple. With the digital products and with the live training, you can make the change like that. You don't need a thousand approaches. You don't need a thousand nights out. You don't need to study this stuff for months and practice for years. Okay, there's companies scamming you. I am now bringing together a team and we're becoming more mainstream and we're gonna fucking bring high level, high level, high level results, high level content. I don't mean complicated content. I mean in terms of the value that we're putting out and that we're offering, okay, both for free and with paid programs for people that want to take things further. Lots of great stuff coming, really excited for this year. Uh, the dates for those programs will be released soon. If you're interested in those programs, please email me at johnantelifestyle at gmail.com and we can discuss details. If you have a city that's on that list you would like us to consider, please email me about that as well. And don't forget to press the like button on this video and the subscribe and notification bell to get notified of my six new videos a week. And there's gonna be more coming from my new coaches. Okay, we're gonna be delivering the fucking keys to the kingdom. So I hope you guys are ready. Take care. And don't forget to use your condoms.